ancient legends of ultimate chaos, at whose centre sprawls the blind idiot god, Azathoth, lord of all things, encircled by his flopping horde of mindless amorphous dancers, and lulled by the thin monotonous piping of a demonic flute in nameless paws, the nuclear chaos, the demon sultan, the deep dark, the blind idiot god. Lovecraft's first mention of Azathoth was in a note to himself that he wrote in 1919. The note simply reads, Azathoth, hideous name. The name would then appear again, this time in a note that Lovecraft wrote referring to a story, a terrible pilgrimage to seek the knighted throne of the far demon sultan, Azathoth. Like many of the deities that appear in the Cthulhu mythos, they have a number of appearances that are fairly difficult to define, but none are as difficult as that of Azathoth. It is everything and anything that someone could envision, and everyone envisions its image differently. The image is forever changing, and forever evolving. It is the creator of the universe and all things inside, the omnipotent god, the creator and supreme ruler of the outer gods and the great old ones. It is immortal and invincible, and cannot be destroyed, because the concept of destruction only exists in its dreams. We cannot then truly understand how powerful Azathoth really is, because concepts of speed and strength and other ways we use to measure power once again only exists in Azathoth's dreams. There is a belief that it uses the form of its son Neolarthotep as an avatar, but that is something we'll cover in a separate video. In the entirety of the Cthulhu mythos, there is no doubt that Azathoth is the most powerful of all of the deities. It should then come as no surprise that it went on to feature in several of Lovecraft's stories, with the most noticeable being the dream quest of Unknown Kadath. It is often described as the centre of the universe, the unknowing creator of our reality. We are nothing more than a figment of Azathoth's imagination. When it does eventually awaken from its slumber, our reality will cease to exist, our planet and everything we've come to know will fade into nothing, and the only thing left will be the blind idiot god. When we talk about cosmic horror, I think Azathoth is a great example of what it truly means. The existence of an omnipotent being that we cannot truly understand, a being that our existence solely depends on. The idea that the reality that we think we have created can be taken from us at any time, and we are helpless to do anything about it. This entire notion has inspired a host of writers, and I think one of the best examples of this is in Lord Dunsany's The Gods of Pagana, where he created this deity named Mane Yud Sushai, which is almost definitely inspired by Azathoth. In Dunsany's interpretation, Mane Yud Sushai sleeps eternally. He is soothed and kept in his slumber by a lesser deity who beats a drum forever. For if he cease for an instant, then Mane Yud Sushai will start to awake, and there will be no worlds, nor gods, no more. This in itself is a very clear reference to the work of Lovecraft, as there are interpretations of Azathoth where it is described as a mass of nuclear chaos that can be found outside of the universe. Here it is constantly attended to by a group of alien servants who shower it with sounds of pipes and drums, ensuring that Azathoth remains in its slumber, completely unaware and blind to the fact that the universe that we and many other beings call home is nothing more than a figment of its imagination. What I personally find most interesting about Azathoth is that it is essentially this enormous mindless being that is unaware of everything, and yet it is so powerful that it can shape and form realities just by dreaming. It does make you wonder what if Azathoth wasn't mindless, what exactly would it be capable of if it was conscious? As of all of the Cthulhu mythos, there are so many interpretations of Azathoth that you can literally believe anything you like, and the chances are your version of canon will be quite similar to someone else's. To me personally, the notion of Azathoth is quite a terrifying one to think about, not because I'm scared of its appearance or its motives, but because the concept of our universe being a dream that can end at any time is quite thought-provoking. It's quite similar to why The Matrix became so popular. There is no way for us to ever 100% discredit this theory, so it leads to wild conspiracies and a ton of interesting discussion. So feel free to share any thoughts, stories, or interpretations that you find interesting with me in the comments below. As always, I've been your host, Mythology and Fiction Explained.